Hello guys, welcome back. So here in this session, we'll talk about ASAP methodology or project page. Guys, in previous session, what I have explained, so I have just given introductions and uh, then uh, what to say, how many types of projects are there that I have explained. We are having implementations, we are having uh, this rollout project and then upgradations and support right now if you talk about here in entire session what is happening guys i'll explain about implementation project the reason behind is i'll tell you guys implementation everywhere in every tutorial what is happening guys people are going to explain the implementation project itself the reason behind is in a to z activity in the sense almost every configurations are supposed to be because implementations means from beginning onwards starting onwards we have to perform all the settings all the configurations so if anybody is having idea about implementation project then what is happening guys it means you guys will be able to work on support project also you'll be able to work on enhancement i mean to say upgrade project upgradations project also and you'll be able to work on this rollout project also on any kind of project you guys will be able to work because if you know a to z if you know each and everything then no worries right so here we'll talk about implementation project now if you talk about implementation project guys then implementation project is going to you know that is going to be segregated into certain phase and that is why I have written here project phase. Okay. Now it is also called ASAP methodology. Right. What is this ASAP methodology guys? In the sense like SAP has given certain methodology. Right. Uh, we can say it's a kind of formula by which what is happening. Whatever the speed of implementation is there that is going to be accelerated. In the sense it is going to be increased okay now here what is happening let's suppose for every uh, implementations for every implementation what happened guys client is going to give certain deadline okay now i'll, I'll just give a very simple what do you say example here try to understand okay very simple guys every things are going to be simple okay it depends upon the explanations of the faculty now in previous session, what I have done, guys, I have quoted an example of Tata Motor. Right? Okay. So just assume that, okay. So in my uh, all, in the sense like whatever the upcoming lectures are there, upcoming, uh, what do you say, this one, uh, videos are there. So I'll put, I'll take the example of Tata Motor. And uh, as I have taken example of Tata Motor, you guys can choose any same company or else like other companies also you can take the example of other companies also. Now, so Tata Motor. Now what is happening guys, Tata Motor is using a different ERP right now because an organization in order to run their all like because organization means they are having multiple transactions which is taking place on daily basis. So what will happen guys in order to manage those transactions now it is not possible to manage those transactions with the help of you know registers manually because several transactions are taking place on regular basis and based on that management is required multiple or various different different kind of reports so what what is happening guys every organizations nowadays they are using certain ERP I mean to say certain softwares right say for example Tata Motor is using an ERP called Tally. so now what will happen guys this is the existing ERP which is there in Tata Motor now Tally is a very small ERP guys so which is having multiple limitations now here Tata Motor management need various different different kind of reports so in order to meet 
those requirement code is happening guys it is not possible to meet those, meet those kind of requirement with the help of a small erp so now what is happening guys their management in the sense the management of tata moto is looking for a bigger platform something big which is going to meet which which like which is going to meet their requirement so they have decided to go for sap a different software called sap a different erp called sap right tally is also an erp sap is also an erp likewise we are having oracle we are having a uh, quick book we are having multiple various erps are there in the market right now so tata motor management decided to go for sap so what will happen guys now right now they are using tally and they have decided to go for this sap so in that case of course sap should be installed here in tata moto in their systems right and after installations guys multiple configuration steps will be there we have to configure this sap as per tata motors requirement right so who is going to install and who is going to configure this sap as per tata motor requirement it will be done by sap consultant it will be done by you people right it will be done by sap consultant isn't it now so here this entire installations and configurations isn't it so this installation of course server installations if we talk about sap software installations it won't take much time uh, installations and setting up the server that is uh, you know part of like it will be done by basis consultant it's a technical things but configurations configurations will be done by a functional consultant now what is this configurations right and how to configure this sap so don't worry guys a uh, multiple session will be there in the sense like once i start the practical session all the practical sessions will be there on this configurations only right so behind each and every configurations there will be certain logic if you guys are able to understand those logic right and if the logics are going to be if logics if like as i said like behind every configurations there will be certain logic right so if those things if those things are going to be explained then what will happen of course like uh, the journey is going to be quite easy for you people and then in the sense like behind each and every configurations as i said like there are logic so if you guys are, if you guys are able to understand those things then if you follow the steps like how to do right so learning how to do is not much important guys the most important thing is why to do that you have to that you need to know in order to become a sap consultant okay so now here what is happening tata motor has decided to go for this sap so what is happening guys this sap must be installed and configured right so now here this entire installations and configurations activity is called implementation we have to implement the sap into tata motor now if you talk about the implementations implementations cannot be completed within a few days or or few hours no it takes too much time right on an average it's going to take maybe 8 uh, to 9 uh, month 10 month it depends upon the size of the organizations isn't it now let's suppose tata motor has given a deadline of 8 month that tata motor management has given a deadline of 8 month now i'll tell you one thing here also there will be a confusions tata motor management has given a deadline of 8 month to who who is going to implement so i'll tell you guys for implementations again when like let's suppose tata motor is a client here right tata motor is planning to use this sap isn't it there are multiple player in the market right who is 
you know like there in this field in the sense like sap implementations and giving this sap related services there are multiple like if you talk about pcs ibm right we are having like uh, accenture having in shortcut shortcut guide we are having wipro right so likewise we are having uh, other companies as, as well multiple thousands of organizations are there guys i'm talking about big big players okay so now when tata motor is planning to use this sap so for that sap implementation supposed to be done so tata motor is going to invite quotations from these all organizations right everybody is are going to quote their prices that how in how much like how much amount they are going to charge for this sap implementations in tata motor right and tata motor found so their management is going to check all the quotations they'll compare all the quotations and then they let's suppose found that this ibm quotations is like in terms of price or whatever the other multiple other terms and conditions are also there so they found that this is most feasible and suitable for tata motor so what is happening guys they have decided to invite ibm for this sap implementations then what will happen guys now so here who is going to implement this sap into tata motor of course ibm is going to implement this sap into tata motor for that ibm is going to charge money right now so ibm is going to like ibm will be having a team of consultant and this team of consultant is going to implement this entire sap into tata motor okay so now here what happened guys tata motor is going to give a deadline also that you must have to complete this entire implementations in 8 month both parties agreed on this so now what is happening guys how to achieve this deadline how to complete this entire implementations within this time frame within this time limits so for that sap has given a formula sap has given a methodology called asap methodology in this in the sense like whatever this implementation speed is there that is going to be accelerated okay so asap methodology the full form of asap methodology is accelerated sap methodology accelerated sap methodology means our implementation speed is going to be accelerated if we are going to follow this methodology in the sense like sap says that our entire implementation activities right in our entire implementation activity what is happening guys sap is saying that you segregate this entire activity in certain phases phase wise we have to proceed further in first phase we have to complete certain activity in second phase we have to complete certain activities for every phase we have to decide we have to like uh, you know certain deadline will be there for every phase first phase must be completed in let's suppose one month second phase must be completed in two month third phase must be completed in let's suppose some uh, three month or four month right so likewise certain deadline will be there for every phases and this is how what is happening within a specified time limits that this entire implementation is going to be done so hope you guys are able to understand asap methodology it is also called project phase in the sense this entire implementation project is going to be segregated in certain phases what are those phase guys that will that that i'm going to explain one by one here okay so now here we are having project preparations business blueprint realizations final preparations go live and support right so these are the five phases okay sap says that we have to whatever this implementation activities are there that is going to be divided into these five phases look at here it's a kind of road map right so starting journey is going to be started from here and our final destination is go live and support go live means what guys go live means after complete let's suppose once we have completed this entire implementations then this sap is going to be handed over to tata motor right so sap is going to be handed over to tata motor 
in the sense like now this SAP become live to record the live transactions. Okay, so last phase that is why it is called go live and then after support is going to be started that I'll explain in details. Okay, so from here onwards the journey is going to be started on and our final destination is this one go live and support. So it's a kind of look at here. It's a kind of roadmap. First of all, this destinations, then this one, then we have to achieve this one, right? And then this one and finally fifth one, right? Okay. So in every phase, certain activities are going to be performed. What are those activity that I'll explain guys one by one. It's going to be pretty interesting. And in, in a very simple way, uh, I'm going to explain. Uh, right here at this platform. I'll tell you guys the people are uh, you know from various countries are taking enrollment Since I am from India. So guys there might be some issue with my voice and accent because uh, You know like uh, I'm not from Western countries and also my accent will be a bit different So it's my request guys kindly uh, bear with uh, that because I can't do anything in that Okay so one by one, I'm going to explain this phrases with a very simple example, guys. 